Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel Trailermountain.com, and today I'm testing and reviewing a sleeping pad. This is from Outdoorsman's Lab. These guys contacted me on Amazon. This is it right here. Super small, two season sleeping pad, and I'm gonna get it out of a stuff sack. I'm gonna show you why it's cool, and then I'll show you why you should potentially wanna buy one. So here you go right here, Outdoorsman's Lab. Really small, I mean, this thing is, it's tiny. It's about the size of a water bottle. So on the inside, it does come with a patch kit. It has two patches in here, so that's key. Definitely wanna make sure you keep your sleeping pad protected in the backcountry. So when you have a, a patch kit, you know you're gonna be safe, you know, especially with two patches. Eventually the thing's gonna pop. You're gonna put it on a sharp stick or a sharp rock or something's gonna happen and you're gonna need a patch. It's good to have a patch, they don't weigh anything, and it's good to just keep with you just in case. All right, so here it is right here. It's a full length. Full length pad. Now, I'm gonna blow it up. It only has one valve right here. So I'm gonna blow it up, and I'll show you why it's cool. It does have a nice two-way valve, so it's still open right here. I didn't put the plug in, but that right there is going to keep the keep the air inside. Put a little extra in there just in case. Pop the plug in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my camera around. I'm going to get on top of it. And then you can see whether you like this thing or not. You can see the shape, the design, and all of that. All right, so just the overall design shape is a mummy style, meaning that it tapers down at the feet. So this would be good for putting inside a mummy bag or just using on top of a mummy bag. Now, I am 6 foot, about 170 pounds. And I'm going to get on top of it here. Put my feet at the end. As for headroom, I have about a half an inch of headroom and about a half an inch at my feet as well. So um, it is kind of narrow at the shoulders, but I have plenty of room. The only thing I wish it, it did have was the outer channels here. I wish they were thicker so it would kind of cradle me more because I could see myself rolling off of this thing in the middle of the night. Comfort wise, whether you're a side sleeper or a stomach sleeper or a back sleeper, it's going to be comfortable. You know, this isn't as thick as some of the other pads that I've tested. However, it is thick. Uh, it's about, I'd say, two and a half inches thick. Overall, it's a, it's a pretty decent pad. You know, I like the diamond, kind of a, the diamond shape. I'll show you what I mean. So overall, diamond shape. Pretty well constructed. You can see how thick it is. It's not terribly thick, but it's still comfortable nonetheless. It is also branded. Outdoorsman's Lab. And the bottom side here is the, back here towards the feet, is the actual plug. This way you're not putting your head on it in the middle of the night. This would be a good two season pad. All right, so we're gonna deflate this. Basically you pull this thing out, the plug, you just stick your finger in there and that just deflates it all. It deflates pretty quick, but still, you definitely want to make sure you kind of get as much air out of it as you possibly can. Once you have it all back together, like that, put the plug in. That's it, you're done. In the stuff sack, this way it's gonna be protected inside your pack. Easy peasy. All right guys, so that's my review of the Outdoorsman's Lab sleeping pad. I would say a two season you know, sleeping pad. I wouldn't necessarily use this thing in the cold above say, or below 40 degrees. There's other pads for that. But if it's summer camping, or if you want something just lightweight that's gonna be comfortable, this is a great option to do it. Plus it comes with a patch kit. My only gripe, my only negative gripe really, is that I wish the outer channels here were thicker so it would cradle you more, kind of keep you in the middle, you know? I could easily roll off of this thing. I do kind of toss and turn sometimes in my sleep, so that'd be the only thing I could say would be uh, what I would change about it, but it is what it is. I mean, it's a nice little pad pretty inexpensive too. So if you guys have any questions or comments about the sleeping pad, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Please leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. 
here's a like button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up for me if you found it informative, of course, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. The best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, trailermountain.com. When you go there in the lower right-hand corner, there's a little pop-up that shows up where you can put in your email address. When you do that, click Submit. After you do that, you're going to have access to my website as well as some exclusive content that's only on my website that's not on my YouTube channel. So it's the best way to stay connected to all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on. So on a side note, we're also hiking the John Muir Trail this August, and uh, we're going, you know, Yosemite to Mount Whitney. More than likely, it's going to be Cottonwood Lakes area to Yosemite, just because we're having a, we might not get our southbound permits. But if we don't, then we're going northbound, which is we're going to start around Cottonwood Lakes and head all the way to Yosemite. Uh, it's still going to be the full trail, 222 miles. Actually, it'll probably add a little bit. So thanks again for tuning in to my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.